Now the trick to doing these long skinny feathers is to paint each side from a different angle. So you can see how I can get a nice sharp edge here with the darker tone. And I've already painted the light tone on the bottom. I'm just using blue mixed with black for these feathers. So you can see how just getting a nice sharp edge underneath. And then just getting some of that lighter tone again and just going back over it. allowing it to blend in. Now you do need to do this quite quickly because you don't want the paint to dry before you've finished blending it. So it's best to just do, I've done two, two lines but it's actually best to just do one line at a time. Like that. Now I'm keeping the, the uh, painting in a stationary position for the video but I would normally um, just stay, keep my position the same, but just rotate the painting around. So it makes it easier to access all the different sides. Okay. And you can see because both edges of the paint are wet, it's just a matter of rubbing your brush over the space between them and that creates the blend. But you really only have a couple of minutes to do that before it starts to dry. With that, for example, you can see how the dark tone isn't really strong enough. So what I'm going to do is just come back in here with a bit more dark tone. And just because it's still wet, I can just run the dark tone like that along the edge. And then rub most of the paint off the brush. And just blend it together. Like so. Глаза 